At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. The $53,000 Cruise and Cash Giveaway is at Gold Town Casino. Fridays from 6 to 9 p.m. win $200 every half hour. Saturday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. get another chance to win $200 every half hour. One lucky cruise winner will be chosen at 9 p.m. Listen up, Gold Town. Football Super Sunday is February 3rd. Join us at the Nugget Event Center. Limited seating is available, so buy your tickets now through February 2nd, $25 per person. Play and dine. Points for food is back. Every 300 points equals $1 at the Calico Cafe and Buffet. So check out their January food specials, all at the Gold Town Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval says Nevada is emerging from the worst economic crisis in a generation and is on the road to recovery. In his State of the State address Wednesday in Carson City, the first-term Republican said the last two years have been a success story. While the state still has the highest unemployment rate in the nation, Sandoval says businesses have created nearly 30,000 jobs and state revenues are growing. Sandoval has painted an optimistic picture of the state in a speech less than three weeks before the legislature goes back in session. The speech comes the same day he released a $6.5 billion budget plan, which calls for increased spending in education and health care. He wants to bolster programs for English language learners and potential dropouts and called for an all-day kindergarten program in up to half of the state's schools by 2014. Sandoval also praised economic development officials for bringing new companies to Nevada, and he said he'll leave no stone unturned in his quest to bring more jobs to the state. In December, 20,526 initial unemployment claims were filed in Nevada compared to 22,147 in December of 2011. That's a 7.3 percent decrease over the year, the 34th time in the past 37 months that claims have been lower than the year before. Initial claims peaked during the recession at 36,414 in December of 2008, and the low point for initial claims was 13,932 in September of 2012. Over the past four years, initial claims have fallen 44 percent as the Nevada economy continues to recover from the recession. In 2012, Nevada averaged a decline of initial claims over at 6.3 percent over the year, which is the smallest decline in the past three years. If Nevada really wants a robust and flourishing economy, it needs to streamline state and local regulations, reduce and eliminate state and local licensing fees and filing requirements, ease restrictions that discourage hiring and eliminate government-granted business subsidies. Those are just some of the findings in a new study on economic development by the Nevada Policy Research Institute. The study comprehensively details how government actions induce and worsen it. In Nevada's economic woes. The white paper also shows how removing government barriers to entrepreneurship leads to sound and sustainable prosperity. The path to sustainable prosperity details many ways that Nevada governments interfere with private sector job growth. It also offers specific suggestions for removing barriers to entrepreneurship, the only real route to long-term economic growth. The study's recommendations offer a clear contrast to the economic development plan that Governor Brian Sandoval and legislative Democrats crafted in the 2011 session, allowing political appointees to give state money to favored corporations. A demonstration began at 9 a.m. this morning outside the, where the largest gun show in the world is being held in Las Vegas. More than 60,000 buyers and sellers of guns and related equipment and accessories are attending the 35th annual SHOT Show at the Sands Expo and Convention Center. One of the organizers said that he doesn't understand how the National Shooting Sports Foundation could go ahead with the show after what happened. The National Shooting Sports Foundation is based in the same town, Newtown, Connecticut, where a school shooting occurred that claimed the life of more than two dozen school children and others. The annual show is not open to the general public. The demonstration is being organized by the Nevada Desert Experience, a local interfaith peace organization. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Well, here's Ginger with your First Move Fitness tip of the week. Hi, I'm Ginger, personal trainer, sports nutritionist at First Move Fitness. Here is your fitness tip of the week. Ever wondered how yoga can affect your life? 
Yoga is about exploring and learning in a fun, safe, and playful way. Yoga is great for teens and adults. Here's what you can learn from yoga. Yoga teaches us about our bodies. When we practice the physical postures or exercises, we learn how to move more freely and with greater ease and awareness. These postures help our bodies become strong and flexible. Yoga teaches us how to breathe better. When we breathe deeply, fully, become more aware, we can bring peacefulness into the energy in our bodies. There is much more we can learn from yoga, so come ask us at First Move Fitness about the many different yoga classes, memberships for teens, adults, and seniors at First Move Fitness. Remember, the first move is yours. Lance Armstrong is not only a disgraced cyclist, he is no longer officially an Olympic medalist either. The International Olympic Committee has stripped Armstrong of the bronze medal he won at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia. The committee, the committee told Armstrong today to return it. The move came in advance of a televised interview in which Armstrong is believed to acknowledge for the first time that he used prohibited performance-enhancing drugs in his career. Man, seven-time winner and Very sad. nothing now. Very sad. Well, I think it's going to warm up, right? I'm so glad, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say my prayers tonight by my bed. <laughs> Take care of Aunt Jeannie and let it warm up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, we'll have Ian with the weather right after this. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back, everyone. Pretty good weather today with sunny skies. Our temperature is at 59 degrees. Winds coming out of the northeast at 5, gusts at 8. Our pressure staying steady at 30.41. And our UV index is at 3, humidity 21%. Sunrise 6.53 a.m. and the record high for today, not very long ago. Back in 2011, it was 74 degrees. So going on to tonight, we're going to have clear skies. Low of 27 degrees. Winds are going to stay about the same. North, northeast at 5, gusts at 8. Our humidity is going to come up to 38%. Sunset a minute later, 4.55 p.m. And the record low for tonight was 20 degrees back in 1945. 49, excuse me. Looking at tomorrow, we're going to have sunny skies. Our temperature is going to stay the same, 59 degrees, low of 28. Wind's going to go down one point, coming out of the east at 4, gusts at 6. Humidity at 23%. Sunrise, 6.53 a.m. And the UV index at 3. So looking at our 7-day forecast, Looks like our highest high is uh, going to be on Tuesday and Wednesday, 64 degrees, and maybe we'll hit 60s by the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, 61, 62. Looking at our lows, 31 on Saturday, 32 Sunday, and highest lows again, Tuesday, Wednesday, 36 degrees. Maybe some clouds towards the latter end of the next week, but it's shaping up to be a pretty good forecast, so that's all for today. Back to the desk. Well, Inspiration Senior Living is inviting the public to the Hard Hat event scheduled this Saturday, January 19th, starting at 9.30 a.m. For more information and to RSVP, call 751-2300. This Saturday is the USDA Food Commodities Giveaway at New Hope Fellowship from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m., located at 781 West Street. You must have a valid Nevada driver's license or ID card and a current utility bill or rent receipt with the same address. Sunday, February 3rd, the Prompt Nugget is holding their annual Super Sunday party. You can get your tickets for $25 now at the Prompt Nugget in Goldtown. Seating is limited. And I guess that'll do it tonight, right? Yep. Okay, folks. Well, that's it for tonight's newscast. So from everybody up here on the hill, have a safe evening. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Good night. Good night.